Hi, and welcome to Maxell. My name is Sajad, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you edge blending using the blending and warping tool. For the setup today, we're going to use two 8000 series laser projectors with ultra short throw lens to project an image onto a curved screen. Today's demonstration will be recorded using Maxell's MAXL1 integrated lecture capture station. For more information on the Maxell1, please visit www.maxelldisplay.com forward slash products. As you can see, we have a projection which is already blended and warped to fit the screen. What we will now do is disable the blending so that we can run you through the steps to recreate this projection. It is important to note that to do this, both projectors must be networked with a static IP address. For the purpose of this demonstration, we've used a very basic Netgear switch to achieve this. Once your projectors are on and you have a projection, make sure that the projection is outside of the borders as this will allow you to pincushion the projection to each corner. You must also make sure you have an overlap area of at least 20%. To begin setup, you must select available devices. Assign your chosen devices by clicking on this button. You will now see the devices move across to the assign column. The projector on your left should always be at the top and the projector on your right should be at the bottom. In our case, .251 at the top. Make sure use clone signal is checked in the bottom left hand corner and click next. Make sure that the resolution is the same for both projectors. You can also change the orientation at this point if you are stacking the projectors. You can do it in a 6x2 for example or a 3x3 formation. Your camera should select automatically but you can also set up your camera from the drop down list. For today's demo we're using a Logitech webcam. You can also use a Canon EOS DSLR for this process. If you don't already have a template set up on your projector you can select show pattern. Once this is completed, select Begin Data Collection. This now detects the position of the white squares and calculates the curvature of the screen. This process can take approximately two minutes. The camera is now calculating how many white squares can be seen. Once completed, you will see an updated timestamp in green. Now click Next. Now select the screen type, either curved or flat, and enter the dimensions. The screen we are projecting onto is a curved screen 2.62 by 1 meter. Now click Next. Now select the four corners of the display. and click complete. You will now see six additional points appear. You can now adjust these points to fit the white screen. Be sure not to have any points outside of the white area. You can also zoom in to get a neater finish. Once you are happy, click Update Calibration. This now sends the parameter details to the projectors. As you can see on the screen, we now have a blended image. Now click Finish. This is the management page. Here you have the ability to recalibrate and also disable the blending. 
You also have the ability to schedule an auto recalibration. This may be useful in a situation where the projectors may be prone to move in an unstable environment. Thank you for watching the demo.